Hello everybody, welcome back to another Scratch video. Now this is not a project I'm going to show you. This is, you guessed it, how to download the Scratch Tree Offline Editor. Now, why should you download the Offline Editor? Because if you are like out of internet or your internet has problems, that is good. But everybody knows if you want to download anything, anything, you need the internet so if your internet is like slow down for like one day like you can use the scratch tree offline editor you can download the others which i will discuss in the other video like the 2.0 offline editor and so as the 1.4 for older pcs so over here how to download the Scratch Tree Offline Editor, of course. And then over here, how to download it. Just click to the link in the in the description below. I am going to post it in the link in the description below. Or, I, or it may come in your or it may come in your feed. I I don't know if it will come, but if it comes, just click the link. So let's. Uh, this is the page that that is going to be here. Now you go. Now we hear you requirements Windows 10 plus. I don't think you need a plus, but it can work on Windows 8.1 also because I'm using Windows 8.1. So and also it works. So why didn't they just put Windows 8.1 plus? Um, but uh, this is not a bug reporting video. <laughs> Well, I'm just getting so much tension. Mac OS 10.13 plus Chrome OS, which means one type of Linux, and Android 6.0, which I think is Marshmallow or Lollipop. Yeah, I think Marshmallow or Lollipop. Over here, I'm using Windows, so you can click this. If you're using Mac, you can click this. And if you're using Chrome OS, you can get it from Google Play. If you're using Android, you can also get it from Google Play. But in Windows, you can get it from the Microsoft Store also. You can run the .exe file since in the Mac there is no difference. Just open the installer and then open the D uh, DMG file move the scratch desktop into the application folder this is what you have to do for Chrome and Android you have to get it from the Google Play Store in Windows you can direct download so over here I'm just going to save it somewhere safe like for you like in the programs folder and okay now it is 116 megabytes or 116 megabytes so i will be back when it is downloaded installation is finished you just simply click on it now over here it says choose installation options 
so over here I recommend if you're using all users you can do this but you may need to do the user account control only for me you can do but I recommend this because it, because it allows more privileges and also all the users can get scratch so click install See. now it it takes some time to install so you have to wait concert concert very calmly but keep your internet on it may take some time but to to then he can s talk about what we are going to do in the next videos we are going to learn about how to install scratch 2 we need adobe air to install scratch 2 yeah so now it is done so can one scratch desktop click finish now it will load load it now wait some time so I recommend you to go to your desktop and see this icon over here just keep it somewhere safe maybe near refill survey code and then it's one there and there we have it that's scratch desktop hope you like this video hope you did smash the like button subscribe and see you guys next time goodbye goodbye